Attorney Conti, uh, any new development? It's uh, ju it's July. July. Right? It's July. <laughs> <laughs> any new development? Um, uh, I don't know how to ask this question. Whether in a wet, attorney, whether it's uh, action or actions by the ICC or actions um, by possible potential witnesses uh, to the of the, uh, to the ICC case. Okay. So first, by the ICC. There is no public mm -hmm. movement or development. Alam ko lahat nagiging tayo ng wala sa pare, mm -hmm. but again, <laughs> it is confidential. And the proceedings of the issuance, service, and even announcement of the warrant of arrest is, well, it has to be kept confidential. Lalo na kung may chance kang mahuli yung suspect or yung target of the warrant of arrest. There was only one chance, or one of one time that one circumstance that the warrant of arrest was announced at the same time, almost that it was issued, which was the warrant for the for the Russian president, um, official, mm -hmm. Russian president, right? Because parang wala si yes, Russian president, the chairman of the Children's Commission, Maria Belova, and then recently two other warrants of arrest. This was in the context or in the circumstance that. They might not be arrested, won't likely be, which is why the ICC deemed it more um, helpful for them that they announced na lang. Okay, Attorney Hopefully Conti. we don't get to that situation. Uh, 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 Attorney Conti, so um, since there won't be any announcement necessary in this case in the Philippines, uh, theoretically it's possible that an arrest warrant has been issued. Theoretically. Yes. Yes, theoretically, there could have been a warrant of arrest issued in June even. Pero meron na ba, Atorny? Tayo-tayo lang. Atorny, tayo. Wala ba, palitan nyo dyan. Tayo-tayo lang naman, Atorny. Wala ako palitan. Did you see it coming? Pero ako, confident ako that it will come within the year. And then, my problem is, or yung pinapasob sa amin, paano siya masiserve? And... Um, the development that Lito Patay, one of the implementers, one of the worst recorded violators during the war on drugs, is now Davao City Police Chief. So that is concerning uh -huh. for us. Well, hindi ba siya natanggal? Kasama doon sa mga natanggal, attorney? Ayan, doon sa maraming mga... Alam niyo, hindi po. Ha? Kahapon ba, o nung isang araw right. nung nag-assignment, siya yung Davao Police Chief, kaya... Gulat nga kami eh. Hindi na tanggal. He came from the regional, no. He came from the regional personnel and housing. Yung mga unit na uh, pinaglalagyan muna ng mga floating or right. on the side. And then now, he has been assigned as Davao City Police Chief. I don't know how it would work um, in the context of a possible warrant of arrest against her, his former principal, uh, Rodrigo Duterte, and even... Ronald Bato de la Rosa eventually and also in the context of Kibuloy. Baka naman bu bumaligtad na. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Anong attorney, pangalan, attorney? Can, can we, can... attorney, anong pangalan? Lito, What, Lito what's Patay. the name of the Davao City Police? Lito Patay. Very... Ah, ito ba yung nakausap ni Manny Mondo? Ah, Patay! Si Patay! Oh. Okay, okay. Oh. Patay. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah, uh, yeah. same kinobert ng grupo niyang kinobert ng Reuters. Uh, I don't know if they made any admissions there, but uh, they were brought in from Davao uh, to undertake uh, yeah. uh, drug operations in Metro Manila. At parang yeah. this group. Yeah. But was this the source of the Reuters report? Huwag na natin yung kate. Huwag na natin yung kate yung mga bagay na ganyan. Uh, but attorney, I, I just want to backtrack to what you said a while ago. Pinapas, you said, pinapasolve sa amin paano siya masaserve. So your, your, your inputs are being asked by who? <laughs> <laughs> um, by the victim and by um, involved persons. Uh, kumbaga, we're always being asked, 
how? What are your suggestions? Of course, I'm not required to supply a solution because I'm not part of government. So, medyo relaxed ako doon. So, perhaps the best person to talk about a possible implementation would be those in government. But I, I guess what they're, at, what they're trying to get from you, uh, at least, uh, our suggestions, even if it doesn't fall on your office to uh, uh, to to make the to 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 implement the arrest. Uh. Patrick, Patrick, parang maraming sinabi si attorney na hindi naman niya sinabi. Oh nga eh. <laughs> So, attorney, attorney, he verify lang namin. May bago bang witness na nagpunta sa ICC? Yeah. Uh, no, I am not aware of any mm -hmm. development in that front. Pero ang sabi nga daw ay naghihingi ulit ang ICC ng witnesses. Ano yun? Naghihingi? Ah, ano yun? Naghihiring. Uh, may rumors. May rumors na the yes. ICC is asking for additional witnesses. But... Mm -hmm. As to whether one has already agreed and one has flown out to the aid, hindi ko pa alam. Mm. Mm. ICC is asking for additional witnesses. Bakit kaya? Um, it could be because they're at the point of identifying who are most responsible. And ah. who are most responsible, pwedeng ilan yun. I think it's very clear mm. it's Duterte at this point. It, it could be Bato. But hmm. the ICC is looking at officials na mid-level hmm. or even, I mean, I don't know, kung, well, top level kung ubusin nila hanggang kay uh, ano pang inabot. Si Albayal na yata yung chief when we left the ICC. Yes. And then, yun, yung mid-level policemen, they're looking at their responsibilities. So you need to have additional information as to what were their actual participation. <clears throat> Itong si Davao Police Chief, was he mentioned in any of the ICC documents or kahit questioning? Yung sinasabi nyo, si Patay pala, Patay pala yung ano nun, ang pronunciation. No, this, uh, is he mentioned? At this point, not yet. Okay, he's not hmm. mentioned, uh, but you, uh, well, based on information, the information you have, he is involved in the DDS operations. Hmm. Um, is it possible, Attorney Conti, that he is a potential witness also to this uh, investigation? Yes, actually, any of the uh, alleged perpetrators mm -hmm. can become witnesses. Ang tawag nga dyan ng ICC ay insider witnesses. And they've been crucial mm. in several trials because they will be the ones who will testify as to how exactly were the instructions implemented. Minsan kasi wala sa papel, o kaya walang aamin. Hanggang walang aamin, hindi mo malalaman. Baka mm -hmm. kaya hindi natanggal siguro sa, sa regodo. Baka anyway. kaya ginawang ano, <laughs> double police chief. <laughs> anyway. Well, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ano ba? Magsalita ka naman. Baka ano pa masabi namin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, may, yung, yung gusto mo sabihin, hindi rin pwede sabihin. <laughs> yung naiisip mo. <laughs> diba? The, the, the attorney, kasi, well, at least from what you've told us so far, uh, humihingi pa, uh, the rumor is that uh, humihingi, nagkarap pa silang additional witnesses. Uh, so is it possible that they haven't, uh, is it more likely that they haven't come, up, uh, come out yet with the with a warrant uh, while they're fishing around for, uh, at least reportedly, more witnesses? Ah, ito yung difference nila sa atin. They don't need to finish the investigation entirely okay. before they can issue a warrant. If now, there is information that, for example, one person is most likely and most probably the most responsible for crimes against humanity, then they could issue a warrant against this person, even if the investigation continues as to other person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, hindi pa po nagbubukas yung trial or hindi pa natatapos yung investigation, posibleng may mauna. Yeah, hindi ka lang sabay-sabay. Tsaka, Opo. di ba, attorney, pwedeng kumukuha sila ng continuing desire na magdagdag ng mga witnesses at tsaka ng mga ebidensya para na dun sa official trial. Not necessarily yes. a preliminary investigation. Actually, yes. Kasi actually, as victims, we're preparing for trial already because that's where we will have 
uh, more material role. Right now, they're identifying who are the most responsible. We've submitted everything. Yung mga police reports namin, yung mga analysis namin. Uh, ito po ang mga involved na police. Ito po ang chief nila. Ito po ang utos ni uh, Pato, yung Tokhang Memorandum. At ito po ang mga sinabi ni Duterte. Uh, the analysis of all information is now up to the ICC. And so we're waiting for trial and for the kumbaga, presentation of evidence to prove that this person indeed are guilty. Doon na kami. Saka, attorney, so, parang... so, attorney, yung sa submission nyo, na-mention nyo si, Ms. si D Director Patay. Pata Patay. Oh, yes. <laughs> She's mentioned. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Ang binagay ko po kanina when you say ICC readings, ito po kasi yung sinabit nila or in-upload yes. na ng ICC. Um, in mm. these documents, actually, there are redacted portions. So, mm -hmm. I might be wrong and Patay might have been mentioned in these redacted portions. But for uh -huh. us, we did submit his name in several instances. Uh, bago yes. po siya, hindi po siya, hindi ko po alam kung nagkalookan siya mismo, pero I am sure, Station 6, Batasan, Quezon City. Oh, payata sa atas siya. Mm. Yes. Po, and then we filed a case against this station, Commander, uh, because they conducted the house-to-house -house drug survey, drug test, etc. Uh, uh -huh. Attorney? Pero beyond the okay. point, uh, mukhang yung ICC naman ay beyond the point na, na naghahanap ng corroboration para sa kanilang main witness, si Las Cañas. Mukhang lampas na ron, no? Yung, yung binanggit na additional uh, witnesses ay hindi para sa i-corroborate yung main testimony ni Las Cañas. The smoking gun oh. testimony. Yeah, opo eh. Palagay ko, at this point, they're just really identifying yeah. who else are responsible. So, and it could go into the delimitation of the scope of the investigation or the trial. Kasi kunyari po, kailangan nyo ng witness na magsasabi na galing sa national, ganito binaba ang instruction sa Bulacan. Uh, ganito binaba ang instruction sa Cebu. Uh, kaya they might be looking at uh, regional witnesses na medyo mababa Ah, uh, medyo mid-level sabi na natin. Wag namang mababa. Yung may masasabi pa rin talaga sa kung paano ang nangyari at patayan. Oh, Tony, um, meron meron bang kayong balak na ireklamo itong appointment ni Patay? Meron bang ibang mga uh, grupo na nais uh, questionin? Or at least mag-file ng uh, ng mga reklamo sa tamang mga mga institusyon tungkol dito sa appointment? Pag-aralan po namin Pero ang problema kasi, this is an assignment, not a promotion. So hindi po siya nataas ng rango kung saan may possibility kasi na mag-consult o magreklamo yung publiko. Pero ito po ay assignment. Kaya we, have to look into, we would have to look into that. Na bakit ikaw nga ang Davao City Police Chief? Okay. Uh, thank you, our Attorney Christina Conti. That was Attorney Conti, Assistant Counsel to the International Criminal Court.